Hey everyone, how's it going? It is the end of May, summertime is here, and that means the bugs are back out in full force. So I thought I'd make a video today explaining how to treat your clothing with permethrin to protect yourself from flying insects and ticks, and why I encourage you doing that over using insect repellents. Before I get to permethrin, let me first talk about those insect repellents and which ones are effective and why I usually don't use them. On my right, I have three products that have DEET, which is easily the most common repellent you'll see in a store. I have a 25% spray, a 40% spray, and a 98% spray that is frequently advertised as 100% DEET. DEET can last all day depending on the concentration. It is probably the most effective deterrent for flying insects, not so much ticks. One of the issues with DEET is that it melts plastic-based clothing and other items. So you cannot spray it on any clothing that has nylon, and I probably wouldn't spray it on clothing that is any sort of synthetic. Depending on the concentration, DEET can last anywhere from two hours to all day. These sprays, the 25 and 40%, typically last between four and five hours. The 100% is advertised as lasting all day. I've applied it once and it should last around 12 hours, but you only need a small amount, you only should use a small amount on your hands, face, and neck. One of the problems with DEET is that it's very smelly and so you don't want to apply it very often. And so I would not buy a low concentration of DEET that's under 20%. It's not going to be very effective and you'll have to reapply it often during the day. The other product that is used very frequently is Picaridin. This is just as effective as DEET in lower concentrations. This small Sawyer pen is a 20% Picaridin, and this is advertised to last eight hours. So when I'm hiking these days in the summer, I basically stop carrying DEET, and I just carry this because it usually comes in a smaller size, and actually you can apply Picaridin to plastics, unlike DEET, this doesn't melt. So I definitely prefer this on the trail and in any situation. So these products I basically have sitting in my room or in my car for years at a time without much use. There are a few other insect repellents that actually work that I don't own. I don't want to own all of them. Um, one of them is oil of lemon eucalyptus, which is abbreviated as PMD. That's actually a natural uh, insect, uh, insect repellent while these are synthetic. Uh, but it's only effective at concentrations over 30%. And 30 to 40% PMD can be effective for over six hours. Some of the other natural insect repellents that you'll see commonly uh, online, people will tell you on Facebook, use this, it's not harmful to you or the insects. Uh, some examples are lemongrass, peppermint, some other weird herbs, and uh, citronella. You can find those and they can be effective for 20 to 30 minutes, but you have to reapply very often. So the, the concentrations of citronella and other natural repellents that are actually effective for hours at a time, you will rarely see those in stores. So I would not recommend buying any of those. Also, all of these are sprays. A lot of these also come in a lotion form and lotions are more effective at the exact same concentration because they soak into the first few layers of your skin, while these sprays can easily be wiped off. So if you're doing any sort of athletic activity, such as hiking, and you're sweating a lot, I would recommend buying lotions over spray repellents. Next, I'll talk to you about the different ways to treat your clothing with permethrin. All right, it is time to talk about permethrin, which is an extremely effective insecticide that is a synthetic derivative from the chrysanthemum flower. This chemical has been used by the US military since the 1970s and has been commercially available since the 1990s. Permethrin is very effective against all sorts of insects at low concentrations. The US military typically has their clothing treated between 0.8 and 1% permethrin and most commercially available products at outdoor stores, you'll see solutions such as this at 0.5%. The reason why I like permethrin over insect repellents is that you're supposed to apply it to clothing and it chemically bonds to those clothing fibers kind of like a dye. Unlike insect repellents, this stays with your clothing for a long period of time. 
It only leaches from your clothing from the agitation in a washing machine compared to leaching from your skin for any sort of insect repellents from sweat and athletic activity. So if you hand wash your items, you can make permethrin last longer than if you put it in a washing machine. Here I have Sawyer's permethrin product, which is 0.5%. You're supposed to spray it onto your clothing and it's advertised as lasting up to six washes or two months. If you hand wash it, it may last three or four months. And also the method I'm gonna show you today, which is soaking, that should make it last a little bit longer. This is not the most cost-effective way of treating your clothing with permethrin. You can buy this in larger quantities. You can also buy it at a higher percent, such as Martin's, which sells it as a 10% solution. And then you should dilute it down to 5% before you apply it to your clothing. If you get it on your skin, it's not a huge deal. Just wash it off with soap and water. It's not very harmful to humans at all, but you shouldn't let it sit there for a long period of time. So next I'm gonna show you the quick and easy way to treat your clothing that lasts a lot longer than spray. So I'm about to show you how to soak small clothing items with commercially available permethrin, which I think is the most cost-effective and easy way to treat your clothing with permethrin. I don't necessarily like treating these items with insect shield because it's the exact same price as a larger clothing item. Additionally, I use things like this year round in the winter. So that means they're gonna be washed a lot more frequently than my summer clothing, which means that that insect shield treatment is just not gonna last as long. Typically people think of this as just a spray, which you should do outside and downwind. Uh, the spray is not as cost effective because you're gonna lose some aerosols when you spray inevitably. You're also not gonna soak your clothing or tent as well as you would if you soak it. You can soak items using multiple uh, different items. I like to use small freezer bags. This is a quart freezer bag. Depending on the size of your clothing item, you can use a quart bag, uh, I mean a gallon bag. You could also use a bucket if you have a large quantity of permethrin, which I don't. I'm just trying to use this up. So to, right now, I'm gonna try to fit in two, two wool socks, which I use both winter and summer, and a lightweight beanie. One thing you should remember is that you shouldn't only treat your hiking clothing with permethrin. You should also consider treating camp clothing because when you get to camp, you're still gonna, you're gonna, probably gonna take off your hiking clothes and change into your clothing for the night. But there are still bugs, especially around shelters. Also, if you think about it, a lot of hostels and cheap hotels probably have some bed bugs or lice, and permethrin is the best way to protect yourself from those types of infestations. So, you should be wearing gloves. Um, these are nitrile gloves. For most people who aren't scientists like me, just go to the store. You might be able to find nitrile, but you should be able to find latex, which isn't as effective, but should work against permethrin. Honestly, if you get this on your skin, just go to the bathroom, wash it off. It's not a huge deal. So this is kind of filling my bag to capacity, but all you have to do is pour some in. So Sawyer recommends three ounces per clothing item, no matter what the size. It's a little bit of a weird recommendation, but I try to ballpark it, just pour it in, and then you can knead it. And there's some excess on the bottom, but if I close off the bag and knead it around, this is gonna get soaked up very thoroughly. And the reason I like soaking it is because when you spray it, unless you spray it really well and use excess amounts, you're not gonna soak through your clothing. So you're kind of only gonna get the top half of your uh, clothing item. This soaks it all the way through, and most people think that this will actually last maybe eight washings and up to three to four months. So this lasts a little bit longer than just spraying it. So this is why I'm wearing gloves. If you don't want to knead it around, then you can do this without wearing any gloves. But I like to move these items around in the bag a little. Kind of switch the position of each clothing so it gets to touch the bottom. And then close it, close it up, try to push all the air out, which means that the, there's less evaporation and the spread's gonna be a little bit better if you get as much air out as possible. 
So eventually this is gonna evaporate. So maybe in 30 minutes or so, I'll open this back up, knead it around, and then push the air out. And I'll do that a few times in the next few hours. And then I will let this sit overnight. And really you'd only need a few hours of soaking, but overnight's the easiest, obviously. And tomorrow you just open it up and let it dry out. So if you're trying to utilize this sort of solution the best way you can, do a lot of items in small bags. There's an alternative and far more effective way of treating your clothing with permethrin, and that is through Insect Shield, which is a company based in Greensboro, North Carolina. Insect Shield has developed a proprietary method to chemically bond permethrin to your clothing that's supposed to last up to 70 washings, which is way more effective than the Sawyer-based treatment at home, which is only going to last you six to eight washings, depending on how you wash it and how you treat it. There are two ways to acquire Insect Shield treated clothing. The first is to buy it from different brands that offer it. Unfortunately, not many brands at this time offer Insect Shield treated clothing. Uh, some of the ones that do are ex officio. A lot of their hiking shirts are treated with Insect Shield before you buy them. Buff headwear, some of their items have Insect Shield. I think this might be the only item by Sea to Summit. This is a mosquito net, which is treated with Insect Shield. And also, one well, of my new favorites, my Rail Riders clothing, both the, the pants and the shirt are treated with Insect Shield. If you go to these companies' websites or other outdoor websites like REI, you should see a difference. It will say that it has Insect Shield already bonded to the clothing before you buy it. If you can't buy an item like that or you already have pre-existing clothing items that you want treated with Insect Shield, you can do that by sending it to the company directly. This is the second time in three or four years that I've sent some clothing items to Insect Shield. It's pretty cheap for me because it's only 50 minutes down the road, so the shipping is not much, but you can send items in bulk. I sent eight items this time, which costs, I think, $8 each, maybe $8.50. It's cheaper to send more than three items. They have pricing methods, one to three, three to 19, and over 19 clothing items. They only treat clothing and they do not treat underwear. So this time I sent in both of my Outdoor Research Sunrunner caps. I forgot to mention Outdoor Research, some of their hats come pre-treated with Insect Shield, like the wide brim ones. For some reason, these didn't. I treated a couple t-shirts, a couple of my new shorts, and also two midway fleece pullovers. And the reason I did this is, as I mentioned earlier, when you're in camp, you're gonna change out of your regular clothing into something you wanna sleep in. It's gonna be a little bit colder at night, but that doesn't mean that those shelters still don't have spiders, ticks, maybe some lice and bed bugs. So the easiest way to get all of your clothing treated with permethrin is through Insect Shield. If you have a bunch of clothing, consider going online, Google Insect Shield or IS your own clothes and go to their website and there will be a form you fill out and you send it in and I got this back within five days. So it's pretty cool. No smell compared to when you spray it and extremely effective. And by the way, I should mention at the end of this video, none of these companies or products are sponsoring me. These are just products I use and love. So I thought I'd put that out there. So I hope you learned a little bit something from this video and have Ask me any questions about treating your clothing or insecticides and pesticides. I am a chemist. I'm pretty well versed on this stuff. So feel free to ask. See you guys next time on the trail.